Hi everyone, it's Muriel. Welcome back to my channel. Tonight I have a tag number six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Tag number twelve. I did show five of the tags that I made in one video that um, I did them while I was at my crop a couple of weeks ago. So this will be tag number twelve, and it's something that I saw on Pinterest, and I thought I could duplicate it with the products that I have. It's basically just a black tag, and it has a mountain cap and a cute little house and a little two uh, stamp on some uh, with some red and white twine. This tag I found in my stash. It's the wood tags by Love and Lemon. I think I purchased these at Tuesday morning. I'm not sure. This is a bag of the cream color ones, but I did have a bag of the black one. And they come with, and I think I got six, and they come with these um, tags too. You can see them here. So I haven't figured out what I'm going to work with these with, but these I am uh, creating uh, these types of tags with them. Now, I went ahead when I saw what I saw on Pinterest. <clears throat> I went ahead and bought the die. It's a Lawn Fawn die. And it's the uh, Shadow Box card mountain add-ons, right? So you can make a Shadow Box uh, with this die. You have the mountain cap, and you can see where it's folded on each end. Um, you have a house. You also have a... Um, a piece of the house to put on back or if you want to layer it you have the chimney smoke coming out of the hat the tree you have a rooftop where you could uh, do some solid color different color um, for the mountains you have the snow cap pieces here which would probably look really cute all glittered up a tree and then you have this piece here to help in designing your um, shadow box so I took it all apart I'm not using this yet I am kind of using what I have that's what I started with when I saw the idea on Pinterest I said let me see if I could uh, duplicate it and this is what I've come up with so I wanted to show you guys um, how to make one here's another one that I made this is the first one that I made <clears throat> and you can see it's kind of having some issues around the top here where the um, tool was pulled back but nonetheless it's still cute i've learned since then how to uh, do this so i thought i would come on and show you guys so basically all i did was i took my tag and i sprayed it with some of the adhesive spray that um sticks to almost anything ouch i'm sorry i'm having a um <clears throat> some groin pain on my leg I tell you working out is not for the old <laughs> so um this is some Elmer spray adhesive but I know they had some spray adhesive at Dollar Tree because I have two cans of it that I haven't used yet but I basically take my tag over the trash can and I shake this it's one of those and I just spray it not getting it all sloppy wet and then I cut off a piece of this really um, fun tool uh, I call it popcorn tool and I put it down and I just let it dry overnight so now what I have to do is to trim around it before I did that I did thread my uh, twine through because uh, the issue with this one was that I did it after the fact um, I put the tool on first and then I tried to pull the twine through the hole and it was just a little hot mess so we did that first and we're just going to cut around it so that's what I'm going to do now is kind of trim around the tag and get all this excess tool off of it. So These are so fun. I think I'll eventually make the ones using the die set, but for now I really want to use what I have. And you can see what I'm using is my snow and cocoa Um puffy sticker collection and some of the uh, die cuts I bought quite a bit of it at Tuesday morning many years ago I don't regret it I love snow and cocoa I love snowflakes all those collections so now we just have the tag with the popcorn tool over it and then <clears throat> I have my snow cap this was one piece just like this that I had from the snow and cocoa ephemera pack so I just cut it. That's 
So I'm just going to use that one. I know I'm going to have my snow cap up there. And then I'm going to have my little mountain. And what I did for my mountain scene, or my snow scene, is I'm using this wavy dye that um, I've cut on some white cardstock. I've learned with this one here that the stitch lines go on top when you're cutting because then you get the stitch lines that you want on your snow. So this was uh, one piece like this that I used with a scratch piece of paper. And then I used my corner punch to get a rounded edge because these tags have a rounded edge to them. Right, so I would just lay that like so. And of course it's gonna hang over for now. And then my other piece I have here, I'm going to, so that I have like a snow drift, it's gonna kinda look like that. And then I'm gonna trim that off. So let's go ahead and get this glued down. Where's the glue at? So I know I want, I'm just going to guesstimate this. Hope you guys are doing good. I've been watching your videos. It's just been so crazy um, here um, in the Pacific Northwest because we have uh, rain and it rained today and I had to drive the van and I was just a nervous wreck. So I probably had like four cups of coffee this morning. Oh, let's see here. I don't feel like shaking this one. Let's just get a one of these. It's got to be newer than the other. So it, yes, it was raining so bad this morning. Sideways. I always describe it as, as rain coming down sideways. It's so bad. And then you get those trucks that are spewing uh, water. It was just madness but i made it thank goodness i need a pokey tool you guys where's my pokey tool at here she is so i did make it okay i mean i just prayed the whole time hand i had white knuckles i was just ugh. i tell you driving at night now and everyone has those special lights on their car where is my glue it's not coming out and i know it's in there so let's go get a um let's get a needle. Sorry you guys. Oh my goodness. So I don't know if I share with you, but I will be on vacation next week and I'm so looking forward to it. I am uh, I have a list of things that I want to start getting out the way. All Christmas related, of course. Okay, here we go. So, okay. So, only thing I'm going to do is lay this on this end. Like so. And then I have my other piece that I want to lay on top of it to give it that, like I said, that snow drift look. So, this one will go like this. Let's see here. And I'll put that one like that. I think I'm going to have to watch a video on... I saw one woman, she just hand cut her snow drifts. Sometimes I, I tried doing that. I think I did that with one of these. And you can see that's the one that's just plain. It's not even like hilly or anything. So I'm learning. So while that's being stuck down, I have... These puffy stickers, looks like I have three houses. I have a huge snowflake there, have another snow um, flake here. And I thought I had um, another pack of them. But, um, oh, I have a snowflake here, two snowflakes here. So I'm good there. Um, then for the snow mountains, you can see here, the top of them, I put some... Um, crystal drops on the top just to give it a different look okay so I think this is probably ready I can cut this off sorry and turn this like so
Okay. And there we go. So next, being I didn't put um I didn't put any um glue on the top of this, I'll be able to tuck these snow caps like so. Get them in there like so, kind of like that. And then of course you have to put a house there, right? So I have a choice of these three, and I haven't used this one yet, so I may use this one and just put her like right there. If I don't use this one, then I'll use <laughs> this tall one. Mm. Well, maybe this one, probably this one here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my crystal drops, just a bead on the top here like so okay I didn't want that perfect um, then I'm going to use my stamp here I want to get the two right there on the corner just in case the person wants to write um, their the name of the one who is getting the gift these are Christmas tags so hopefully they'll be used for that purpose but probably not so I'm just going to guesstimate let's see here I'm gonna put that right there and I'm hoping that that's straight and it may not be but that's okay oh that's perfect okay so while that is doing what it needs to do um, I want to play with this house. So the house will probably go here. Okay. So let's get this. Let's get some ink on this. Some glue. Excuse me, not ink. Oh gosh, wrong one. So we're just going to gingerly get her on there like so. Let's just use this to get it to stay down. So I have four more to make of these. Again, I am just using these bits and pieces from the snow and cocoa collection until I am ready to pull out uh, the die and use that. I just wanted to kind of use the idea, but not exact, just because I'm not the creator of this um, project. So now where's my little house at? Here we go here. Oh, it's really sticky, but I'm still gonna put a little of the, um, Mono adhesive is this the right one? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, I'm going to put that like here. And then it just needs some snowflakes. So I have let's cover this up. There's one here that I like because it's not so big. I, I don't know if this one will be too big. I mean, like the snowflake that covered the whole neighborhood. I mean, that could work, but I do like that one because I think I want to add, oh my gosh. I think I want to add um, maybe two, like one there. And then this little one here that I have been hanging on to forever. Let's just go ahead and add it on here and that's going to complete that tag you guys so fun I mean it's really is a, a pieced together idea but I nonetheless still like it so much oh my gosh get that out of here <laughs> there we go let's cover these bottles up here There. So there are my three 
um, tags, tags number 12, I believe I said. There we go. So I plan on making some more. I'm going to use, you know, I may do um, two more houses and maybe use the snowman. I think that'll be cute too. I do have three more tags, so I want to kind of get these out the way. Um, I do plan, I do have about four more, I think four more tag ideas. Not for this one here, but we'll see. We will see. So I hope you enjoyed this. I will uh, put the link down. I believe, again, this is a Lawn Fawn um, die set called Shadow Box Card Mountain Add-ons. Um, let's see if it has any kind of There's the item number, LF Lawn Fawn 2055. So like I said, it is used as an add-on for making shadow boxes, but you could just use these pieces any way you choose to. So thank you guys for watching. And again, I can't wait till next week when we can spend some more time together crafting. Have a good evening. Bye now.